Hi, friends. Welcome to another episode of That Sounds Fun. I'm your host, Annie F. Downs. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Listen, we are in a special series called Summer Lovin'. That Sounds Fun podcast series in which we want to restore hope in dating and bridge all the helpful conversations, practical resources, and amazing experts so that you can see changes in your dating life starting with you. We are loving your comments and feedback about this series. You're having dinners with your people and discussing it, sharing these episodes with married friends and other single friends, and giving us your best dating advice. I just love hearing what you're thinking and the way you are embracing the start of these conversations along with each of these episodes. During Summer Lovin', we've been talking through a lot of aspects of dating, and each episode features an expert, either someone who's written on the subject, works with a ton of people who are single and dating, or is a licensed therapist. And in a a lot of the episodes, like today, we sit down with both a single male and a female and get their perspective on it all as well. These are my staff and my friends or friends of friends who are just normal people who are navigating dating right alongside us in 2023. Of course, they don't represent everything about dating, nor do they represent every person's experience, but I think they all do a beautiful job telling us about themselves and their stories. This is not an all-in-one guide to every part of dating, but it is a jumping off point and hopefully offers you some good wisdom that you can start implementing right away. We want to bridge you to these experts and their resources so you have something practical to walk away with. And at the end of this episode, we'll make sure and tell you how to find each expert and how to find their resources. And before we dive into today's conversation, I want to tell you about one of our incredible sponsors. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. As we talk about things like the five love languages and the Enneagram and coming soon, attachment theories, it may all feel complicated and a little too complicated to understand. One thing standing in your way may be grasping a better understanding of yourself in general, your motivations, desires, and the way you give and receive love. One way you can gain a better understanding is through therapy. If you've been on the fence about starting therapy, BetterHelp is a great way to get started. We're big fans of therapy around here, and I think it's really important to prioritize time for it, no matter what season of life you're in. This summer, consider giving therapy a try to help you better understand yourself and find the steadiness you need when things feel like they're spiraling. They make it so easy. Y'all just go online and fill out a brief questionnaire. We love a quiz. And they'll match you with a licensed therapist. Finding a therapist that is the right fit for you is so important. So you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. And you're sure to be working with someone who's a good match. Plus, your sessions can be done right from home. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and fit in your schedule. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash That Sounds Fun today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash That Sounds Fun. Today on the show, we have summer love and expert Craig Allen Cooper. Yes, you may remember Craig from episode 379 when he joined his buddy Walker Hayes as they talked about their book, Glad You're Here. What you may not know about Craig is that besides being an author and a speaker, he is the brand director for the five love languages. So when we were talking about the right person to come on and chat through dating and the love languages with us, we knew our friend Craig was the guy. Joining him are my friends Mike and Lillian. Guys, you know Lillian. She's the chief Annie officer and basically the boss of me. And together, the four of us talk about why and how the love languages are helpful when it comes to dating. And if there are certain types that are more compatible than others, it is fascinating, you guys. This is one of those conversations that anyone can benefit from, whether you want to be better at loving your friends or the person you're dating or your spouse. The five love languages have been a longtime helpful tool to understanding how we best give and receive love. And I'm excited for you to hear what each of my friends brings to the conversation today. So without further ado, here is my summer loving conversation on the love languages and dating with Craig Allen Cooper and my friends Lillian and Mike. Welcome to Summer Lovin'. To that sounds fun. We are talking about love languages. Is mm. everybody ready? We've all taken our quiz. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes we yep. all know Sorry. what we did not know eight minutes ago. <laughs> it's amazing. Some of us. I knew. So, yeah, 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 of yeah. course, Lily. Of course. Um, okay, so Mike and Lillian, let me get y'all to introduce yourselves so that people can get used to hearing your voices and meet y'all. Um, just start with your first name, your age-ish, what you do with your day, and your kind of dating status currently. So Mike, yeah. why don't you jump first? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm Mike. So happy to be here with all of you I'm guys. So it's glad you're so here. amazing. Um, yeah. So as far as like day to day, right now I do do music, yes. uh, like full time, pretty much. Um, and right now I'm pursuing my real estate license as well. So I'm gonna be hopping in real estate pretty soon. And in the dating world, I am divorced. Okay. So I am speaking up for all the divorcees out yeah, here. Um, yeah. So yeah, just super excited to to hop into the topics today and just dive into what we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Mm. Thank yeah. you, so Lils. Yeah. 
I'm Lillian. I'm 29, and I work at Downs Books as yes, the chief do. Annie officer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> chief Annie Everybody's got a C-suite here. Everybody's got a C-suite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And I'm single. Yes. Yes. Very good. And Craig Cooper, welcome back to That Sounds Fun. Thank you so much for having me. I, I am love so being glad here. You're here. Love you. I here. love when you're here. So last time you and Walker Hayes were here because y'all wrote a book together called Glad You're Here that everybody loved. Y'all sold a gazillion copies. Mm. And all of our listeners loved it too. But you're not here today because you're an author. You're here today because you actually work for the five love languages. I do. <laughs> Will yeah. you kind of explain you what you do for five love languages? Yeah, so I have the privilege of serving as the brand director with Dr. Gary Chapman for the five love languages. So it's basically Basically anything that touches that brand, you know, from audio to books to brand protection and legal content, marketing, socials, you you name it. If it touches that brand, yeah. I'm responsible. I'm more like the director or conductor of the orchestra of the five yeah. love languages. So I, I love it. Which is awesome. When I emailed him about texting about coming, he was like, do you want to try to get Dr. Chapman? I'm yeah. like, no, I want you. Well, I want uh, you to you're, come because you're, so you're already our friend. So <laughs> thank you that he is available to them. And, and we would love to have him at some point. But for this, you were my guy, Craig. Yeah. I wanted you in here with us. Uh, do you have a problem with people? I mean, people are talking about the six love language all the time. My my top love language is yeah. Taco Bell. Yep. My top <laughs> love language yeah. is. Yep. So do y'all have an issue with that? Yeah, you know, it's a great question. So Dr. Chapman gets asked that yeah. all the time. And he said, you he's know, awesome, when I wrote right? the book. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. When I wrote the book, I wasn't dogmatic that there are only five love languages, mm -hmm. but no one has been able to convince me mm -hmm. uh, that that there's a sixth one because all the ones that people talk about, like chocolate is my love right. language. <laughs> yeah. well, if somebody gives you chocolate, that's a gift. Right. That's receiving right. of gifts. Yeah. You know? right. yeah. If you make something together, that's quality time. Yeah. And so, yeah, we laugh about it all the time. There's all kinds of things out there, but uh, since he put the book out 30 years ago, mm -hmm. hasn't been convinced that anybody has come up with something I mean, 30 As a six years ago. 30 years ago. And it's having yeah, it's such a revival. It yes, really is. Yeah. It Everybody's really is. talking about yeah. it. Yeah, there was a TikTok trend that went off uh -huh. in the summer of last year. Um, Y'all, we have a quiz yeah. at 5lovelanguages.com, and it over 115 million people. Wow. Oh my God, plus wow. three. Yeah. 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 Everybody here yeah. just took theirs again. <laughs> but have discovered their love language, which is just uh, really remarkable. And the book itself has sold over 20 million copies Yeah. Uh, wow. since it's been out and it's been translated into over 50 languages. Wow. So it's universal. Yeah. You know, so if y'all are listening, if you want to hit pause real quick, it's the number five. Number five. Lovelanguages.com. Yep. Go check it, it out. It is 30 questions. So if you will, if you want to hit pause, go take that for five minutes, go to the romantic section, take that for five minutes, get your five and then hit unpause and come back to us. Absolutely. And and then you'll kind of be in the know, just like we are suddenly in the know. Yes. So <laughs> I am so shocked at how my quiz turned out. So Craig, will you start, will you just go over what the five love languages are? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you've got words of affirmation, uh -huh. you've got acts of service, You've got quality time, you've got receiving of gifts and physical touch. Okay. So what happened is, you know, Dr. Chapman, he's been doing counseling for over 40 years and he had a couple come to him at one point and they had been married for 30 years. And the wife came in and said, Dr. Chapman, I need to tell you, you know, a little bit about us before you counsel us. We don't really argue. We don't have money problems. And she shared a few positive things like that. And he began to wonder, did you come in here just to tell me how great of a marriage yeah, you have? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then she started uh, to cry and just say, but I, I feel no love from him at all. Mm. I just wow. don't feel any love. I feel like we're ships passing in the night. And we're roommates. And then he looks over at the gentleman and the gentleman says, well, I don't understand her. She says... She doesn't feel any love, and I, I do all that I can to show her that I love her. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then Dr. Chapman said, well, what do, you, what do you do to show her that you love her? And he said, well, you know, I get home from work before she does, and so I start to make the dinner. And if, if she comes in time, she'll join me, and we'll do it together. And then I do the dishes. Mm -hmm. And then every Thursday night, I vacuum the house. And mm -hmm. every Saturday, I... I wash the cars and mow the lawns, and I help her with the laundry. Dr. Chapman starts thinking, what does this woman do? Right. It sounds like he's doing everything. And she 
looks at him and says, Dr. Chapman, he's right. He's a hardworking man, but we don't ever talk. Mm-hmm. All he's, he's always washing the cars and, <laughs> and then mowing the grass yeah. and yeah. doing the laundry yeah. and doing the dishes. And what he recognized there is, oh, okay, you have a sincere husband yeah. who has a desire to love his wife, mm. and she's not getting it. Wow. Mm. Because they're speaking different languages. Yeah. Wow. And then as he dove into what would, what would express love to you, obviously for her it was quality time. And for him it was acts of service. Then he poured over years and years of his counseling notes and recognized – you know that individuals were were expressing the similar types of frustrations, and 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 then he identified, you know, when somebody says that they don't feel love, what were they complaining about? What were they desiring? And it felt the answers fell into those five categories, wow. and wow. that's where he got the five love languages. He started counseling with that for about five years, and then he thought, well, if I can write this in a book, maybe I can help people who will never come into my office. Little did he know it would sell over 20 million 20 copies. 20 million copies. Wow. Yeah. That's so that's the origin of it. Yeah. yeah. Lillian and Mike, did y'all have history with five love languages? Not really. I mean, I've heard it, it talked about yeah. all my life and and church a lot. And I think, I, you know, I took a quiz a couple years ago. Yeah. But you that's were right about, about it. You knew what you were. Well, you're, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she guessed and then took yeah. it. Yeah. It was exactly right. It was exactly yeah. right. Yeah. 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 I heard about it in like passing. You know, so many people started to talk about it. And uh, once they like listed the five, I just kind of like just remembered how I love to receive love. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I just kind of placed myself, but I never actually took the quiz. But yeah, I was a little Until shocked today. today. Yes. You have now. <laughs> I completed it. Um, Craig, talk to me a little bit about that because Mike makes a great point. Like, it's not just what what you take the quiz is you figure out how you receive love. Right. But when we're talking about dating, yeah, we also have to be really thoughtful, just like the guy in your story, that <laughs> the person I'm dating may not have the same top yeah. love languages. Yes, yes. And it's helpful to even have that as category mm. to recognize that the way we receive affection or love um, it, it may be different than the way someone else who you're dating uh, receives affection or love. And so discovering that is going to be key. Yeah. Um, is that like a expressing. first date conversation? You know, I think there. So he, Dr. Chapman talks about there's three ways you can discover somebody's love language without them taking the quiz. Yeah. You know, one is by observation. What mm-hmm. do they do? How do they tend oh, to express love? Yeah. So yeah. like my mom was always giving gifts. Mm-hmm. And it took me until I was working with Dr. Chapman to realize, oh, receiving of gifts was her love language. Yeah. She was trying to express love in giving all of us gifts. But one is observing their behavior. You know, the second way is, you know, what do they ask for? So if somebody says, for instance, you know, I just went to London uh, on the Five Love Languages London tour, and I have an 11-year-old, and, and she she will ask, you know, Daddy, would you bring me something back from London? She's asking for a gift. Yeah, she yeah. Her, re- Receiving gifts is mm-hmm. her love language. Yeah. And the, the third way is what do they complain about? About so, me in the dating relationship yeah, or so, in the world? Oh. Well, if somebody says, you know, I don't think that we would – ever touch if you if I didn't initiate uh, that uh-huh, then maybe uh-huh. their love language is physical or you touch. don't ever compliment me you don't ever come mm-hmm. yeah uh, like uh-huh. all right you know why why haven't you helped me with anything you say you say you love me but you never help me with the dishes you right, never help right. me with the, whenever they complain or something like that that's giving a cue into what their yeah. what their love language is so I think observing Obviously, if you the further you get into a relationship, you may just you want to say, "Hey, let's you know, have you taken that? I'd love to know what your what your um, love language is, and and vice versa." But yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk about our top five. I mean, they're all five. There's only five, but let's talk about where, <laughs> where each of ours ranked. So, Mike, why don't you start? Tell us when you took the quiz, and were you surprised or not surprised? I was surprised with my second one. Okay, actually. Yeah. Okay, go through, um, and then so, Craig, you can diagnose him as we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, my top one was physical touch because mm-hmm. just touch me. I love to hug and all the things, uh, just with friends, community, all of that. Second one was words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. And then my third one was quality time. Yep. 
Fourth one's acts of service, and then I got a zero, a whopping. Zero. That is amazing. <laughs> zero percent. I don't know that I've gifts. seen that. You don't see that a lot, but that's amazing. 115 million, and you got your first yeah. zero. I, pro- I <laughs> right. promise you guys, if you guys gave me a gift, I would not like have a dull face. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. don't give me a gift because right. I don't. Want it. But like, I will receive it. So that's actually like just mind boggling to me. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. is. What do you think here in that? I mean, your top is physical touch as well. Well, mine's actually words of affirmation. Oh, words. It's okay. like 37%. And then quality time, 33%. Mm. Uh, I'm I'm low on receiving gifts. Yeah. Too. Oh, that's what it's oh. yeah, Y'all yes. are low on I'm, receiving I, gifts. I'm with you. Mine's 3%. It's Come not on. zero. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if you want to get over here close. I like books. <laughs> <laughs> That's what three percent is. You've got a category. You know, yeah, <laughs> our, our trips. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah so is that a speak. thing, men versus women? Like, do y'all see testing patterns? That's a great question. I think we need to dive into that at some point and do the diagnostics and do the check, you know, male, female. Yeah. What, yeah. But it can be different for everybody. A lot of yeah. it is, you know, how you grew up, environments, just the way you're wired, all of that. But I... I haven't seen zero, but that's <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel like you know right now that you didn't know eight minutes ago? Um, yeah, I guess the gifts thing really caught me off guard, yeah. and then uh, just words of affirmation. I didn't realize like how much I need mm. or value support. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Based off like my answers from the quiz, like yeah. how it just yeah just creates an environment for me to I guess be su- successful or achieve or yeah. you know just if. If like I'm ever having like a down day or bad day, like someone just taking the time out saying, "Hey, like you're gonna make it through." Yeah, um, yeah it just really pointed out that I really value that. Yeah. So. Mm, all awesome. right, Lillian. What order are your top five? Um, so the first one is quality time. Does which... this count for quality time? <laughs> yeah, <it's just> <laughs> well, that's, right like, we, that's actually like... a question of mine. Of is like, what is what does that mean? What is quality mm, time? Because yeah, yeah. is it doing an activity together or is it? Just being together, because yeah. if it's just being together, don't just stare at me like. Right. <laughs> don't just That's stare great. at me. Like I'm yeah. yeah, no. When a guy just I'm stares like, just at you. Go. Yeah. Do something. I don't know. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> okay, that's some other stuff coming out. We're gonna get to all of it. That's great. We're gonna get to all of it. Fantastic. Um, gifts is actually my second one. Okay. Yeah, that's um, why you gave us water. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Also, part of my job. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I felt the love. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Oh, I I did. Yeah. Despite my zero percent, I'm really thankful for the water. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's yes. good. Um, but. I think with gifts, I I love giving gifts. It's not so much the receiving part, but to be able to just work on projects, even at work, yeah. that we get to put together gifts for staff. And That's really um, it's cool. just so fulfilling to me. I love it. It's awesome. She like runs with it when I'm yeah. like, let's give all the staff so and so. And she's like, it's ordered. It's done. Yeah. I'm like, great. So cool. It's awesome. got the perfect idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the third one is words of affirmation. Which that one I think is kind of opposite with with gifts because receive I like to receive it but I'm really bad at giving it because mm. um, even you know at at work there there's a time when you're like I did this look can I have a good job and I'm like right. great <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm always like Lillian I did everything you had on my schedule today she's like okay <laughs> can I get a good girl can I get anything. <laughs> So I'm working at being better at that. <laughs> That's great. Um, number four was acts of service, uh, which I think that one is, I I know this is a different episode, but I identify as an Enneagram one. Uh, and so a lot of times if, if people do something for me, I'm kind of like, oh, thank you. I'm just going to have to redo what you've just done. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, but... Um, so that's, that's like of, the loading of the dishes, and mm-hmm. then oh, yeah. you, you come over to it, and you're like, I, you did this all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you did it all wrong. Yes, Thanks absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> um, and great. then physical touch was my last one. And what percent was yours? 3%. 3%. Three percent. Three yeah. percent. <laughs> Which yeah. I would like to point out, with it being that low, that does not mean that I don't like hugs right. like I like you know sure come yeah. up and give me a hug that's yeah. fine because yeah, yeah. that's something that like me and my friends have talked about mm. 
And it just means that, like, I don't need you to come up and give me a hug to know that you love me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a great That's way to put it because I'm that way with yeah. mine my low ranking ones too where I'm like it's not that I don't enjoy that right. that just doesn't say I love you yes. to me mm-hmm. and those are the ones I usually have to think about with the other person mm-hmm. so okay Craig diagnose Lily and what'd you learn oh but <laughs> 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 well, she's very good at giving gifts yeah. <laughs> I, uh, no I think it, it, one of the things that's so helpful is recognizing when somebody's top is quality time they're spending time with you mm-hmm. they're showing love to you Oh, right. So it's just like that husband, you know, for the wife to know, oh, every time he does the dishes, helps with the food, does the laundry, all that kind of stuff, he's actually trying to communicate love. Mm-hmm. That softens your heart and helps yeah, you recognize that maybe maybe you don't value receiving gifts as highly, but you can value the, the love that someone's giving yeah. and trying to give you yeah. the that's gifts good. and everything really like good. that. So that I, I think that's, for all of us, it's just helpful to recognize expressions of love, even if you don't if that's not your love language, yeah. if that makes yeah. sense. That sounds fun. Hey friends, just interrupting this conversation to share about one of our amazing partners, Fast Growing Trees. Are you doing any yard work or refreshing your indoor plants this summer? Whether you're an expert when it comes to plants and landscaping, or you can barely keep them alive like me, fastgrowingtrees.com has got you covered for all your interior and exterior landscaping needs. I love fast growing trees because we found a fiddle leaf fig tree and a ficus plant for our offices at a great price. I'm looking at them right now. And they've got your perfect plant match too. Fastgrowingtrees.com's plant experts curate thousands of easy to grow plant, shrub, and tree varieties for your unique climate from Meyer lemons to evergreens and everything in between. We're aware of all the benefits, right? The beauty, the cleaner air, but sometimes it's hard to know which plants will do best in our context. Well, no problem. Because with fastgrowingtrees.com, you get customized recommendations based on your specific needs. Plus, their plant experts are always available to help keep your plants growing healthy through the season and beyond. Whether you're buying plants for your office or working on a seasoned garden, fastgrowingtrees.com has experts in the field ready to support you and your plants for years to come. Just order online and your plants arrive at your door in just a few days. And with Fast Growing Trees 30-Day Alive and Thrive Guarantee, you know everything will look great fresh out of the box. Join over 1.5 million happy Fast Growing Tree customers, you guys. Go now to fastgrowingtrees.com slash that sounds fun to get 15% off your entire order. Get 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com slash that sounds fun. Fun. And I have one more amazing partner to tell you about Chime. Okay, there are a lot of you who just graduated and are starting your first job. And man, I can remember getting my first paycheck as an adult and I couldn't wait to start spending it. Well, and saving some too. Here is the thing good money habits start with your very first paycheck. And you've got an opportunity to jumpstart a healthy financial journey from the start of your first job or a new job or just a new season. When you sign up for Chime and link a qualifying direct deposit, you get access to benefits like getting paid up to two days early okay, and fee-free overdraft up to $200. Plus, with Chime, there are no monthly fees, no minimum balance, and no deposit required to become a member. Chime's mission is to make financial peace of mind a reality for everyone, and they're doing it by changing the way people feel about banking. They want to make managing your money easy, and that's definitely something we all need. Whether you're starting a new job or just need a reset when it comes to money management, sign up for a Chime checking account today to link your paycheck. It only takes two minutes, and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at chime.com slash that sounds fun. That's chime.com slash that sounds fun. And now back to our summer love and conversation with Craig and Lillian and Mike. That sounds fun. Okay, you ready to diagnose me? Oh boy, yeah. It's weird over here. Number one, physical touch, 33%. Yeah. Great. Number five, very bottom. Words of affirmation, yeah, 7%. Yeah, that's surprising to I know. Me. I think, and, and I was particularly thinking in romantic relationship. Okay. And I think because my work is really blessed with people who yeah. say kind words to us, uh, yeah. that doesn't ring as, that doesn't ring as important 
in romantic relationships yeah. because mm-hmm. I that bucket gets filled for me, luckily, because uh-huh. people are very generous yeah. um, with their words toward mm. the work we do. Mm. Wow. But my three in the middle, quality time, acts of service, receiving gifts, all tied. That's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Does that mean I'm just extra needy? I'll just, I'll <laughs> no, just take no, it. No, <laughs> just no. give it. I don't care. No. It, means, it means you're full of love. Oh, I, I <laughs> hope that's full true. Full of love. I mean, have you seen that? Is that a thing? Yeah. No, I, absolutely. Um, I, and I think, too, is just your situation yeah. can affect the way that this comes out. Yeah, and so, yeah. like you said, you're, you know, he, he talks a lot about a, a love tank being full. Yeah. You know, it sounds like yours is with words of affirmation mm-hmm. just because you're putting out a lot of words out into the world and people are expressing appreciation mm-hmm. for that. Mm-hmm. I know I'm grateful for your ministry and the work that you do. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, in a romantic relationship, you, you're, you're probably craving or desiring that, you know, f- physical touch, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because I to- as I told you when you got here, quality time is so low to me. Yeah. Like, it, that doesn't say very much to me, quality time. But mm-hmm. then after I took the quiz, I was like, oh, that's the same as acts of service or receiving gifts. I bet it actually means more to me in romantic relationship than I realized. Because yes. even you said, well, what if y'all go to soccer games? I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. I want to go and do, oh, you don't mean sitting on a couch staring at each other. Because that, right. and like I think, Lillian said, is boring. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the <laughs> misunderstanding quality time too is it doesn't mean like watching you know netflix mm-hmm. or watching a tv show or watching movie together it's more eye to eye soul to soul heart to heart mm-hmm. i've got a couple kids who want to take walks you know yeah. Daddy, can we go take a walk what they're asking for is one-on-one quality time mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that's what that's what they want mm-hmm. is just i want daddy alone yeah just the two of us yes. um so that's yeah, but no, that's not surprising at all okay, based great. on what you said. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Okay, great. I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> this is <turned laughs> There are no wrong like answers, by the way. For anybody who's <laughs> oh, listening, that, yeah. who takes this, there's, there, are no, there are no wrong answers. And, and something may shift or change based on your season in life and where you are. But it's helpful to know right now in 2023, you know, what, what is the way that I would receive love and the way that I can give love to – the people that I love. Because yeah. naturally, if lives. we're not thinking about it, we're going to give in the exact way we receive. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. Okay. That's one of the ways you can find out. It, most often what somebody's love language is how they give love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody's giving you gifts, very mm-hmm. thoughtful gifts, then they're probably going to really appreciate a very thoughtful gift. Mike, I'm sorry to hear that for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, no. I know. Yeah. You're like, oh, no, she gives really thoughtful gifts. <laughs> if somebody's, all, you know, you. wanted to hold your hand, you know, physical mm-hmm. physical touch is probably a, a, a big deal. Or arm around, you know, the shoulder. Um, hey, let, can we dance? I've got my 15-year-old daughter is every time, you know, she walks in the door, she, she'll put everything down. And she's like, Daddy, can we dance? Oh. And she just, wants to, she just wants to dance. Physical touch and affection for her. Is is really really high yeah. on the list, and so um, yeah, I think I think isn't it insightful just to yes. know you know what what fills you up, and yeah. then know what fills up. Yeah. Does it your, does it change? Like, do your I guess types change based on like the level of relationship? Just to say, Annie said like romantically, in some cases, like she doesn't need like words because she's already like yeah. supplied in the area so yeah. can it change and vary in like a friendship or like romantic relationship yeah i, I think it can yeah i think you know you're going to have a primary bet mm. but seasons may look different for instance let's say a mom of small kids you know for her if you're just absolutely exhausted and then you know her husband walks in the door what really would speak love to her might be an act of service like mm. you know Hey, let me take the kids. You lay down. You rest. So there's seasons, you know, for that, which I I am sure that some of the 115 million assessments that have been taken have been taken by the same individuals in different mm-hmm. seasons, which oh, is fine. Interesting, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is totally fine yeah. because your 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 season may change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Even when yeah. the question said. Do you like it when someone helps you when you're tired? Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that in, in that scenario, yes. 
I think that's fascinating. Okay, so Craig, here's my question. Are all types compatible? Like, are there people, we know with Enneagram, and this is true with attachment theory, that right. there are people that, that all will work, but some are going to be more difficult than others. Yeah. Is yeah. that true in love languages? Yeah, no, I think for for the love languages, it's more about the attitude of the heart of the individual. So if you have, uh. if you have the attitude of Christ, you're going to want to express love regardless of what the five are. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right? You're going to want to give, I think of Ephesians, husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself yeah. up for her. Yeah. There's a sacrifice. There's, you know, I, 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 we were talking before this that last night we came home late after a dinner. I love this story. I was going <laughs> to ask you to tell this, so I'm glad you are. Yeah. And you know, I walked in and there's there, there were dishes all in the sink, right? And I was tired and I didn't want to touch them. And honestly, in my mind, I'm thinking, let's just have the kids do this tomorrow morning. <laughs> but Enjoy they, of teenagers. They were out. And yeah. so, you know, I just, Lara went into the bathroom and then she came out and I, and I had my uh, hands all in the dishes and I, were, I was putting them in as quickly as possible. She just stopped and looked me, you know, straight in the eye and said, thank you. Mm. That means so much to me that you would do that. And then she said, you think you could help me fold the laundry? <laughs> <laughs> so, so all the laundry is on our bed, so you right. can't lay down on the bed. Right. So, so finish the dishes, walk in, and, and you know fold the laundry. And I'm, I'm ashamed to say that often I go the opposite direction of that nudge. But last night, you know, I, I knew this is her love language, is acts yeah. of service. Yeah. This is a moment for me to love her, even though I don't feel like doing it and um you went ahead and, and did that and it really meant a lot to Lara. So I think there are individuals I, I think about a Dr. Chapman tells a story of a of a guy who found out his wife's love language was words of affirmation and he said, I don't know how to do this. Dr. Chapman, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. All I heard growing up was you're never gonna amount to anything. Wow. Your life is is I'm gonna be sorry, wow. and all, and he and he heard these hateful words from his parents, and so Dr. Chapman said, "Well, I can help you. You know, tell me three things your wife's good at." And so he said, "Well, she's she's a good cook." So he wrote down, you know, good mm -hmm. cook. And she's a great school teacher. He wrote down, you know, great school teacher. And then um, there there was another one, and he wrote those three. And Dr. Chapman just gave him some words, and one of the yeah. one of the phrases was, you know, sweetheart. I really appreciate you cooking for us. You do such a wonderful job doing that, and I and I love it, and I'm grateful. I don't tell you often, but I want you to know that. And so this guy, Dr. Chapman said, your assignment is go look in the mirror and and repeat this. Until, oh, just practice until it. Until you get so good at it, and then come back and share it with me. So he shares it with him, and he goes, now your assignment this week is go and, and share this with your wife. Yeah. So he shares it with his, with his wife. And then after a period of time, she said, what's gotten into you? <laughs> and he said, well, I'm just trying to express love to you in a way that I know that you'll, you'll receive it. And she said, oh, that's so sweet. Wow. <laughs> and then she reciprocates. So I think it's wow. more, it's not as much like the Enneagram where it's in, incompatible. It's more, what's our hearts? Yeah. And it, if our heart is to love after all of the, you know, tingly feelings of falling in love, yeah. which researchers say that's about a two-year time period, give or take. Wow. Wow. How do we express love mm -hmm. to the person that we love uh, in a way that they'll receive that love? And so I think if you have that attitude, we can, we can go after it yeah. uh, regardless of what th – there's no incompatible love yeah. languages. Are there so, any love languages, Mike and Lillian, that – that if you met someone and it was their number one, it would be intimidating or it would be, oh, mm. I'm not sure I can do this or That's a good this question. is going to be mm. a hard one for me. That's good. Yeah, I think when guys say their top is physical touch, it's kind of like how much of that do you – is that actually true versus just being a guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And so it's kind of like because it is so low on my list, um, mm -hmm. it can be intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say none, I guess. Yeah. Um, I just really love valuing, like, the other person's needs. Mm -hmm. And so if it's like, hey, what do you need in this moment, in this season? Like, what's going to help you through? Yeah. And they communicate 
hey, I need this. And I'm like, okay, yeah. that's what you need. So, yeah. yeah. I feel so much pressure from quality time people. Do you really? And they, they aren't even doing yeah. that. It just, to me, I feel intimidate i will never be enough for quality time people um, is yeah. how i feel yeah even right. so that's why i'm laughing that it ranked as high as it did for me yeah. because it's the one i'm the most like oh gosh if you tell me that's the thing that matters most to you i'm going to let you down mm. i already know I, that's why i feel that's, intimidated yeah mm. yeah so what do yeah. we do with those craig what do we do where we think oh no i hope you're not uh, this, or, yeah. You know? yeah or is that just the lord refining us is that jesus trying to make me a better person of love mm. That's a great question. I mean, we're, we're never going to fully satisfy anybody mm. on, on this side of eternity, and they're never going to fully satisfy us. Yeah. And so, you know, part, I think part of having a, a great relationship, a great marriage, is knowing that and recognizing that at the end of the day, my desire for quality time, it, it's a divine thing that you know, only God can fully satiate that. Only mm -hmm. God can fully satisfy that. The same thing with, you know, receiving of gifts. God so loved the world that he gave. Mm -hmm. oh, right. His only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I, I just think so much of our relationship on this human level is to help point us to the goodness of God and to our need for God. And they kind of go like train tracks wow. yeah. together. And so I think talking about it is is really good and helpful, you know, being honest and saying, hey, this this intimidates me. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, what is there anything that intimidates you? But at the end of the day, looking to Jesus yeah. and finding our soul's satisfaction in, in Christ alone is only going to help our relationships. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Do you think Jesus had rankings for the love language? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. That's a good question. So I've heard Dr. Chapman share about this a lot. And he talks about how God speaks your love language. Oh, wow. And how mm -hmm. he wrote a book about it. It's called God Speaks Your Love Language. Oh, very so good. There you go. Wow. <laughs> and uh, it's really wonderful. But, you know, I just mentioned acts uh, or uh, receiving of gifts. And, you know, John 3, and, and really James says every good and perfect gift comes mm -hmm. down from the Father of heavenly lights who doesn't change like mm -hmm. shifting shadows. You know, all, all we have is a gift from, from the Lord, life. He gives all men life mm -hmm. and breath and what? Everything else, yeah. Acts wow. act 17. So it's the Lord speaks our love language, but you look at Jesus, physical touch, what was he doing? He touched the lepers. Mm -hmm. Right. He, he would touch the, the blind. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he he would he said, "Let the little children come to me, yeah. and do not hinder them, yeah. for to such belongs the kingdom of God." He was constantly touching and healing, and it, it, it. So Jesus, I think, he perfectly spoke all five love languages to us, and he is he's our savior, and he's our, he's our example yeah. as well. So, um, yeah, words of affirmation. You know, uh, quality time. He was with quality people. time. All, every time he tried to get away, they wouldn't let him. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And he he spent, had compassion on him when they came around. He yeah. did. Yeah. Right. Right. And it, and he spent time with the twelve. Yeah. yeah. You know. It, I mean, can you just imagine? Be, he called them to himself, and he it, he would walk away, and they'd say, well, "What did you mean when you said this?" Yeah. And, and he would explain the parables and yeah. all that. So he was he was showing all of them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What are the questions? Awesome. Do y'all have any questions rolling around in your brains? I do. As far as like just the languages go, so um, just say someone just like adopted this method. Yep. You know, how long does it usually take for like a couple to really just get it yeah, down pat that's a great to question. like, all right, I understand you now a little bit better and yeah. you understand me? Yeah, that is a great question. And I've, I've heard Dr. Chapman share about sometimes, you know, three weeks people would come back into his office and say, this has changed everything. Wow. But sometimes it takes a lot longer because of patterns of behavior or mm -hmm. how, how deeply ingrained you've been and maybe feeling unloved or not showing love. Mm -hmm. I think it depends, but it could be as he has said that as, as, as early as three weeks of just learning their love language and trying to 
express that to them yeah. in a way that they feel. It's not so much that we love people that matters. Mm-hmm. It's that they feel Right. Our love. Yeah. That's right. the problem, right? That's the problem. Is you're like, I do love you, Katie. Right. And they're like, right. I don't feel it. Well, that that was the wow. situation with that wife yeah. and, and her yeah. husband after 30 years. And yeah. he's trying to say that he loves her, but he wasn't speaking her wow. language. It's a little bit spirit of the law versus letter of the law. Yes. Where you're like, yeah. letter of the law is I love you. I'm <laughs> yeah. <telling you."> right. <laughs> but the spirit of the law is if you don't feel it, yeah. then am I yeah. actually doing this well? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think, too, it's like, just it just exemplifies like dying to yourself yeah. in a yeah. manner. You're like, right, Mike. I have to die to just what I know now that's and it. adopt something that's totally new. So I just love how it just even just brings out like true intimacy and and what that looks like. Yeah. And, yeah. Greater love has no one than this that they lay down their lives mm. yeah. for so their good. friends. So it's yeah. it's a it's a sacrificial type of thing. You know the romantic aspect of love that's going to be short lived mm. and. You know, if if you'll be really disillusioned if you think the feeling of falling in love is going to last with you forever, because it it really doesn't. Yeah. Oh. It, it it you know it. It's funny. I, I my wife and I uh, dated for about three years before we got married, and right when we got married, you know, they say they say that uh, the feelings of falling in love last about two years. We were three years in when, uh-huh. we, when we got married. And life just hit us mm. really hard. I share about some of that and yeah. in Glad You're Here. But you've got to have something deeper mm. than yeah. the tingles. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's a sense of a commitment to love this person like Christ loves us. Mm-hmm which is sacrificial and laying down of our lives and discovering how do you receive love? I want to give it to you that way. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. So with people, just even in friendships, you know, like with our friends, how do we do this well? Is it different when you're in romantic relationship than when when you're with friends or family? Oh, there'll be differences of degree for sure because – you you know you're in a romantic relationship. Yeah, you're not making out with your friends. Yeah, right. <laughs> if you are, y'all aren't friends anymore. That, the, yeah, the, Spoiler alert. That's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. Right. But I think you can. You know, uh, we have types of friendships and relationships where we can all talk about. Hey, have you taken the five love languages yeah. assessment? What were your top ones? Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Boo. You know, that's a great dinner. Yeah. Uh, type of discussion. That'd be mm. an amazing thing to do with friends or a small group, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. But the lights will come on too. You'll go, oh, I get it. Mm-hmm. This is why you plan trips. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is why you're the person to initiate the planning of trips because mm-hmm. you love quality time. Mm. You know, yeah. Or this is why when you go somewhere, you bring something back. Yeah. Or this is why you take a picture and you send it and say, I'm thinking of you. Or why why we get these encouragements? Do you, does anybody have friends who will just out of the blue say, "Hey, I was praying for you. Yeah. This this first came to mind." Yes. And I I have friends like that, and you know I just want to encourage you with this words of affirmation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great discussion for every human relationship that you want to strengthen. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey, friends, just interrupting this conversation one more time to share about another amazing partner, Nuts.com. We take snacks very seriously around the Downs Books and That Sounds Fun Network offices. Thanks to Lillian, we always have our cabinets stocked with snacks because we are not about that 11 a.m. starving feeling or that afternoon slump. And one of our go-tos is the snacks from Nuts.com. Nuts.com has a little bit of everything you're looking for for snack time. They are your one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruit, sweets, pop popcorns, and even pantry staples like specialty flour and more. Their wide selection means that there is something for everyone. They have cashews, which everyone loves, except me. I'm not a cashew guy, but everybody else loves them. Gummy bears, I love. Olives, we love. Chocolate-covered espresso beans, interested. Saltwater taffy, trail mix, and literally so much more. Our personal favorites around here are the dried mango, yes and amen, and the bourbon pecans, yes and amen. Both are hard to keep stocked in the office because they get eaten so quickly. They are so good. 
In fact, Lillian, I need you to order some more of that mango, please. Nuts.com offers plenty of gluten-free options and organic choices and other health-friendly products as well. Whether you're looking for something sweet, savory, or need to stock up on everyday cooking essentials, you are bound to find something to try. Shop a la carte anytime or opt into hassle-free auto delivery so you never run out of your favorite items. And if you're already stocked up at home, they also sell directly to businesses. Thank the good Lord, they sell to us. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with the purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at nuts.com slash that sounds fun. So go check out all of the delicious options at nuts.com slash that sounds fun. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's nuts.com slash that sounds fun. And one last amazing partner to share with you. This is a delicious section of our show, Thrive Market. In a tour month like this, when I barely have time to run errands, Thrive Market is my go-to for all my grocery and household essentials. And the convenience of getting it all quickly shipped to my doorstep is a huge time saver. Even when I'm in town a lot, I don't like grocery shopping. So Thrive Market truly is my go-to. They've got my favorite snacks that help me get enough protein even on the go, especially when I'm traveling so much. And they have my clean, clean supplies so that I know my house is getting clean without introducing unnecessary chemicals into the situation. Not only does Thrive Market save me drive time and waiting in line time, they also save me shopping time. I love the filters on their website and their app. They have over 70. So whether you're looking for certified gluten-free snacks like I always am, or if you're looking for non-toxic cleaning essentials, you can curate your own shopping experience with the click of a button. And as a Thrive Market member, I can save money on every single order. On average, I save over 30 30% each time, you guys. Yes, and amen. On top of that massive savings on each order, Thrive Market has a deals page that changes daily, which I look at daily, and it gives me cash back on so many brands, and they have price match guarantee. Plus, when you join Thrive Market, you are also helping a family in need through Thrive's one-for-one -one membership matching program. You join, they give. I love it. Join in on the savings with Thrive Market today and get 30% off your first order, plus a free $60 gift, you guys. So go to thrivemarket.com slash that sounds fun for 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash that sounds fun. Thrivemarket.com slash that sounds fun. And remember, all the links you may ever need are in the show notes or in Friday's AFD Week in Review, and you can sign up for that in the show notes as well. And now back to finish up our summer loving conversation with Craig and Mike and Lillian. That sounds fun. So I'm thinking about our friends who are dating and they don't have a lot of money. Yeah. And so things like gifts yes. are really challenging. So what if your life doesn't allow for it. Maybe mm. you're in a long distance relationship. So quality time just isn't going to be doing things together. Yes. How do we overcome that stuff? Oh, great, great questions. Actually, Dr. Chapman's written a line of books, you know, even for the military for like, Oh, sure. Yeah. How do you express love to your spouse when they're deployed? Yeah. Mm. Like he has and a physical well, touch is their number one. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. He has a book on that. And wow. what's really cool. One of them was a wife traced her hand yeah. Right. And she mailed it to her husband. And then she said, I want you to put your hand on my hand wow. Wow. and know that even though I can't touch you, I love you and I'm right here with yeah. you or whatever. And yeah. he said every time he put his hand on that sheet of paper, he felt he felt that wow. um, another wife cut some of her hair. And put it in a little Ziploc bag and and mailed it. Oh my gosh! Like the eighteen hundreds, <laughs> a lot yeah. of hair. Yeah. Here is she, she said, "I know you can't touch my hair. Right. Um, you know, here's a baggie. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Whatever baggie. it takes for hair to work. Yeah, here's my hair. <laughs> feel the love. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I think there. I think we can be very creative in expressing love and affection. You know, even if somebody's apart yeah it is hard though yeah that's yeah, really yeah hard. i just i feel for people who's like man my number one thing is gifts and i have no money yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know i we were just in london and i heard him share this he, he said you know it doesn't have to get be expensive to be a gift he's like you know it's springtime and guys you can go get a flower in your yard yeah. and give it to your wife and yeah. tell her that you love her and he said if you don't have any flowers in your yard 
Check out your neighbors. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, I'm not telling you to steal anything from your neighbor, but if you go up to your neighbor and you say, hey, my wife really likes tulips, and you've yeah. got a tulip over there. That's her favorite flower. Could I give you $5 for that? More than likely that, that neighbor's going to say, hey, man, I don't need your money. Just yeah. take the flower. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then he said that for kids, you know, if somebody's love language is receiving of gifts, you could give – an eight-year-old boy, a rock out of, you know, a, a, a park area mm-hmm. and say, hey, man, I was out. I saw this. I thought of you. I wanted you to have it. Look at the colors. Yeah. Look at look at how amazing this is. And if his love language is receiving gifts, you'll find that rock in his dresser drawer when he's 23 right. years old. Wow. And he'll wow. remember yeah. when you gave it to yeah. him. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. So we it doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah. And I think we pray for wisdom, you know, and yeah. God says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let it call out to the one who gives freely yeah. to all without finding fault, and it will be given. Yeah. And, you know, you can say, Lord, I need wisdom to know how to express love on this budget. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Yeah. I know, Laura and I, we, when we first uh, were married, we were going to a Chinese restaurant where we would split hot and sour soup. Oh my gosh. And an egg roll. Come on. Because it was so cheap. We could do it for five dollars or yes. less. Mm-hmm. You know, so this is twenty four years ago. And, and the lady would always say, You you don't want more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we felt so bad. It's like I don't have any money. Yeah. You know, my, my salary is like twenty two thousand and Laura wasn't working and we were trying to make everything work. Wow. Yeah. And so, but we still wanted to do dates. So we found a place that we could do it for five bucks and we went every week. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Made it happen. We made it happen for quality time. Yeah. yeah. And, and that hot sour soup was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was also delicious. Yeah. So. Be, it doesn't have to be a million dollars. Right. Yeah. I mean, Mike, from from the seat of someone who's been in a committed relationship, mm-hmm. a marriage, and now you're back in the dating world. Yeah. Is there fear of like, man, I already tried and I thought I loved and then or or man, here's what I'm not picking a woman that leads with this because that did not serve me. Or how is it how is it different when you're back in the dating pool? Yeah, it's very different. And yeah, you said a good word there. Fear Mm -hmm. Um, is so many fears entering Mm -hmm. into a a space because I got married when I was 24. I'm 29. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, me and my ex, we dated when I was 21. So dating then and then dating now is like completely different. Totally different. Uh, But I think just all the concepts and underlying things are still the same. It just looks different also. But yeah, um, you do kind of lose just some trust in yourself after that. Mm. And, you know, because you just have this this picture, right? This expectation of like, hey, I was going to just be married once and live happily ever after. And then next thing you know, divorce is in your face and you're like, okay, well, this is not what I dreamed. But yeah, just taking taking it very slow, especially with yourself, being patient with yourself, learning mm-hmm. who you are now, and then understanding what fears you have. And I think, uh, you know, that comes in the experience of, you know, dating in different different settings and, you know, in different just relationships. And you, you start to discover those and like put a, put a couple of those together. And it just gives you an idea of where you are. Mm-hmm. And you're like, this is what I can attack. But also coming out of a marriage, I understand more like what I need now. Oh, wow. Um, and, you know, how I receive love yeah. and what environment is good for me. So, yeah. Yeah, Craig, I mean, from what Mike is saying and from this whole conversation, it sounds like the five love languages is kind of the thing in the center of the table that just is about communication. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Is that mm-hmm. the trick? Because that's what Mike said. It sounds yes. like what you're saying, Mike, yes. is like you're learning how to communicate on your own behalf yes. better yes. because of your experience. And yeah. and this is all about communication. Oh, right? yeah. It's, it's all about communication and expressing love in a way that others receive it. Yeah. And, and then also knowing, yeah, what fills, what fills you up, yeah. you know, and Dr. Chapman wrote a book on this related to the workplace. Oh, wow. The five languages of appreciation in the workplace. Mm. Oh, wow. He's found that like 64% of people who leave their jobs would say they didn't feel appreciated at work. Wow. Well, if you're an employer and you know 
how to express mm -hmm. appreciation and how they receive it, that would be very good for an employer to yeah, you know, do, do, that. do that so that you know yeah. okay this is how this uh, individual would receive yeah. appreciation the best but there are environments too that that just drain you and figuring that out and I think in a relationship you know being able to to hit it head on mm -hmm. to talk about it and communicate, mm -hmm. like you yeah. said, Annie, just in a, in a way where it's real street level. Hey, this is when I do these things. I'm trying to share love, but what? How do you receive it? Yeah. You know, all, yeah. all of that. But we have a great yeah. tool because you can find it out. Yeah, just by going online. Yeah, Lillian, you have so many notes on your paper. What <laughs> I, have you I not hit asked? Them all. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> okay, great. I did. I was worried that we were going to finish up and you were going to have a burning question that we didn't get to. Nope. Yes, yeah, a great question about mostly Jesus. Mostly about yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. mostly yeah. like, <laughs> was our Lord and Savior? <laughs> <laughs> was he also all of them? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I think so, too. He was every was, Enneagram type. That was he was none yeah. of the attachment issues. <laughs> <laughs> He's just secure. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. Okay, Craig, what do we not say? What do our dating friends need to know about love languages that we didn't say? Uh, man, I think you covered it. Like, you know... Uh, Anybody can go on to fivelovelanguages.com for tons of resources yeah. and to strengthen their relationship. If you're single, there's a book for singles, too. Oh, um, good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's, oh, wow. It's, we'll it's link to all that book. on our resources yeah. page. The orange book. It's I bet that is book. how y'all This up is with the it. purple book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the green one's for kids. Okay. And then the blue one's for teenagers. And then wow. there's an orange. He's written 62 books. <gasps> all Whoa. off of. The five love languages? They're Not all, like all off of the five okay. love languages. There are about 10, you know, yeah. that, that are hit on this. Yeah. Um, and then there are others. But, yeah. Prolific. Gary Words of affirmation life. are his. Uh, or his <laughs> yeah, they really him. are. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. Well, please yeah. thank him for us because truly, well, I feel like when, when you have, even me, I'm sitting in this with these that I know today and I'm like, Oh, this changes conversations for me. That's so good. And yeah. so that is yeah. so yeah. helpful. That's so Gresh. good. I'm so thankful. That's so good. Um, Y'all have any more questions? Anything else you want to know or say? Hmm. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you. I think, uh, well, I don't think, I know this is like just empowered so many people. Yeah. Um, just even these conversations have just brought light to so much. I like to think of it as like a lot of people were you know, in a sword fight with a screwdriver. And yeah. Now, uh, yeah. And now they get to That's take a, like, a sword That's so and bring good, it to the fight. Right? That's good. Um, right. And battle, you know, and battle yeah. for love or intimacy or whatever that is, yeah. connection. So just, That's so yeah. Good. And they're like, really. why is this screwdriver not working? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You're like, pick up a sword. <laughs> it's different. It's different. Right. Um, okay, let's end. This is really fun. I've got to know from each of you. Mike, tell me, because the show is called That Sounds Fun, tell me what sounds fun to you. <laughs> yeah, just... Taking just uh, just what we've learned today and and applying it just to life um, yeah. and just different just relationships in my life and and being a better person in that regard um, yeah. just being healthier in relationships it's kind of just like the new the new sexy rise like right. health, is health is the new wealth you know all yeah. things and uh, yeah so just super excited to hop into that healthy is the new sexy makes me so happy like, <laughs> be emotionally healthy and I can't resist you right. yeah that's exactly that's right good. well done that's Mike. Good. All right, Lils, because the show is called That Sounds Fun. Tell me what sounds fun to you. Okay, so you know the Netflix show, it's called The School of Chocolate. Ooh. And no, about, you said you know it. None of well, us know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Amazing. So it's this French pastry chef, okay. and he builds these incredible chocolate sculptures, and they're they're lifelike. They're he does gears made out of chocolate and makes things work, and it's so cool. And he has a an Instagram page that I that I follow, and he posts all the stuff. Yeah. Ooh. So what sounds fun to me is taking a master class with him on chocolate. Is he single? Ooh. I don't know. Little. <laughs> you got to know. You got to know. <laughs> you can work from there. <laughs> you just would have to do Her next some vacation. Yeah, that's mean? right. <laughs> Give yourself the gift. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's, right. that's exactly right. And, and the master class. That's, that's a great answer. I love that. All right, Craig Cooper, because the show is called That Sounds Fun, tell me what sounds fun to you. I would love to get the new VWID bus. Uh Huh? Have you seen it? Oh, only no. I mean I haven't okay, seen it. Okay, so long. it's an electric. It's it's the the one from back in the seventies. Yeah, know? but they they've redone it, and I would love to get in that thing and travel the country. Yeah, 
and then go to the different national parks and some of the biggest cities that I Who's going I with you? Just Laura? Are you going to take the kids? I would love to go with Laura and I just just do that. Because <laughs> yeah, it can sleep too. So okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we did an RV trip. We, ac- we actually did an RV trip um, in 21. March of 21, yeah, yeah. and we took the whole family. Yeah. And it was amazing, but I would love to but do that one. with, with yeah. Lara. That'd be really cool. I have to tell you all my favorite Craig story. We, I was at a restaurant a year ago, and I'm sitting with a friend, and we're eating, and Craig <laughs> walks by. <laughs> and I've known Craig for a year at that point or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had, he had been on the podcast. We're friends. He walks by, and he looks at me and then looks away, and I was like, well, that is weird. <laughs> and so I say to my friend, I'm sitting with, that's my friend Craig. I don't know why he's being weird. And he looks oh. back at me again. And I was like, this is so bizarre. And he walks over. He says, hey, are you Annie? And I was like, he's had a stroke. <laughs> 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 so I texted with him oh yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> Our friend Craig has an identical twin. Identical twin. Absolute yep. identical what? twin. It's Stuart? Yeah. Is Stuart. that right? Yeah. Wow. And, oh and Stuart introduced himself to me. He was like, I see you looking at me. I am not Craig. I am Stuart. And I was like, what? Because I didn't even know he had a twin. It happens all it the time. It was wild. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, because y'all oh. both live here. Yeah, and yeah, share we do. Worlds. We're 10 minutes away. We yeah. went on a double date in Knoxville. Uh-huh. And I can see my wife out of the corner of my eye uh-huh. about five feet from me. We're looking at marble slab. We're look, trying to pick out our ice cream. Yeah. And then I feel somebody come up behind me, <gasps> go real tight, oh, no. cheek to cheek. No. <laughs> and I hear... What are you gonna have, sweetheart? <laughs> and I froze, like like the ice cream. I froze, and I was like, I was gonna get the vanilla cinnamon, Jenny, but you're you're not my wife. I'm not Stuart. And she goes, <laughs> so screaming. Then she pushes me away, and the workers over there are like, "What's going on?" Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. "It's okay, it's okay, it's okay." We're identical twins, and I pointed to my brother, and I was like, "And our wives just mixed us up." <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all, oh my we, we went to a concert. We went to the Eagles concert, and my older brother texts the next day. He's like, I'm looking at these pictures. Is that Stuart that's next to me? Because I thought I was sitting next to Craig. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so Stu types back and goes, no, yeah, that's me. And <gasps> are you saying you think that that was Craig in the picture or for the whole concert? <laughs> and Tyson goes, both. <laughs> For the whole show, he yeah, thought he was yeah, we're <laughs> My older brother sitting next to my twin brother. <laughs> Thinking it's me. So, so y'all, it just, it's like, it happens all the time. Whoa. Isn't that Whoa. wild? That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. I mean, oh that identical is wild. So, uh, thank y'all for doing this today. Yeah, this is awesome. That was thank, awesome. Thank you for having That was us. awesome. This was incredible. Well done. Oh, you guys, aren't they the best? Wasn't this fascinating? I really hope you obeyed us and stopped in the middle of the show and took the quiz for yourself to sort out your love languages. I could not have been more shocked at my results. And be sure you follow Craig on Instagram. Tell him thank you for being here for this series and for a full list of all the resources and Instagram handles from our summer loving experts. Just go to AnnieFDowns.com slash dating. We have only three more episodes left in this series. I'm so sad it's going so fast, but make sure you follow along. Share this one with your friends. Everyone loves talking about love languages. So share this one with your friends. And if you have follow-up questions after listening, drop your questions in the link in the show notes for a follow-up Q&A episode in the fall. If you need anything else from me, you know I'm embarrassingly easy to find. Annie F. Downs on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and out on the road for the Here For You tour. You guys, I cannot believe everything is coming to an end. All my favorite things are coming to an end. The Summer Lovin' Series, the Here For You tour. (sighs) This weekend is our last run, but there is still time to come see us before it is all over. We're in Kansas City, Missouri on Thursday, Dallas, Texas on Friday, and ending it with a big bang on Saturday. And Austin, Texas. Listen, if you can get to Austin, get to Austin. So come on out, you guys. Head to hereforyoutour.com to grab your tickets. I think the VIPs pre-party and post-party are sold out in a couple of those cities, but we definitely have a seat for you in the room. So y'all go ahead and grab your ticket. We're afraid the couple of are going to sell out this week. So grab your ticket today. I think that's it for me today, friends. Go out or stay home. Do something that sounds fun to you, and I will do the same. Today, what sounds fun to me is a long walk at Radnor Lake. The weather is perfect. So I see that in my very near 
future. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you back here on Thursday. Oh, man, with this conversation about attachment theories. Get ready. (laughs) Attachment theories and dating with our expert and therapist, Jason Van Ruler, and two of my friends, Shayna and Sam. It is going to be a good one, you guys. So we'll see you back here on Thursday.